Hi guys, today we will be learning about how to use array formulas with VLOOKUP. So in the last uh, video we, we learned about basic VLOOKUPs and how to use it on every cell. Uh, however, today we are going to use it for an entire range of values. Um, array formulas are a lifesaver, especially when you are dealing, dealing with, uh, with a high number of uh, databases and bigger databases. So um, it just allows you to use a single formula to match values for the whole column or for the whole row in this case also. So to begin with, it's, it's very easy to use. It's basically the same formula, but with one additional element that can save you a lot of time and save your sheets from a lot of formulas as well. So let's go ahead and try to understand how, how to bring the value for uh, the price uh, for the table. In this case, we have two tables. Uh, one of them has listed shop items and the other one has its respective um, IDs, its price, its category that it falls under. So let's get started and try to use a normal VLOOKUP. Then we'll go ahead and try to use a uh, like an array, array formula. And I will probably show you about how to bring multiple values in this case as well. Not just one column, but more than one. Let's go ahead. So if I was to just bring a single value, I would type in equals VLOOKUP starting with the ID, which is the search key in this case, the whole table that I am going to look this information into and uh, which column I'm looking for. So in this case, if I'm looking for a price, I would select the second column out of these three. So I would select second and whether or not I need an exact match or an approximate match, I would select false or a zero. And there you go. Now, let's ignore that. Okay, so we have value for one of these columns. Now, how do I make sure that uh, I get the same lookups for all these IDs in the same column without actually dragging and dropping the formula? So one of these values, dragging and dropping them, let me just protect it, you can select. Select it and press F4 to protect it. So uh, if I go ahead and drag and drop it, it can do this, this solution. But in this case, every cell has a formula in it. So I would prefer not to do that. And I would just put the formula once and make sure the whole column has this value. Now, all I need to do is before we look up, I would type in array formula and instead of A4, which is just one cell, I will select the entire range where I want to apply this formula to. So instead of A4, I would just select A4 to A19. Nothing else changes. And I select it and here I have all the value of, values for this particular price. I'll just put the currency here okay there we go so we have the entire value and you see here there are no formulas below but still the values work so this is quite helpful when you're using databases with thousands of rows and you do you would avoid to use formulas for every particular cell uh, there are certain advanced methods for this as well uh, for example if i was supposed to not use this particular formula for the whole column but for a whole row which means if i need to bring in more than one column out here then i will have to make some more changes to this particular formula so as we use the array formula here and we edited the search key which is rather than just having one cell we using the whole cell value we can even create multiple columns within the formula so when we are selecting let let me let me just go ahead and do it again for you so it's let's start with an array formula and then we look up one value and then i go ahead and select the whole range of data that i need which is this and now i need not just one price column, but also the category for which it belongs to. So in this case, what I will be doing is, I will be starting with a curly bracket. I will be saying to bring me the second column 
and the third column and closing this curly bracket. So I have created an array inside the table and then we select whether or not it should be an exact match. So let me just go ahead and select zero, which is an alternate to false and see if I'm able to find it. So you see that we're able to find the price and the category that it belongs to with a single formula just by adding it. So let's go ahead and just do it for everything then. Uh, so what I will be changing over here is that the A4 that I have selected, we already have the array formula, but the A4 that I have selected, let me just look up for the whole set of IDs that I need to search at the moment. So A4 to A19, I need the second and the third column, which is the price and the category to be listed here. And there you go, one formula and no other formulas, but the job is done in one quick instruction. That's cool, right? Uh, now, what I can do is I can even bring it in any order. So rather than bringing the price first and the category first, like it's written in the table two, I could bring the first one, the second one uh, on the third spot and the third one on the second spot. Well, what I mean is I could actually bring the category and the price in this order and it does not matter what order you select you could bring the third column first and the second one later and it will still work great so uh, such formulas and such advanced steps to bringing data is uh, very helpful for big data sets as I said and I hope you enjoyed uh, using this in case you need any more help when you type on type down array formulas or VLOOKUPs you can always look for help from Google Sheets, which is a really good feature. And it will tell you exactly and you just get reminded. Although once you get used to it, you will not be requiring these things anymore. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you find more content on my page. So do feel free to like the video if you liked it. If you will be using these formulas, feel free to subscribe and uh, i will see you in the next one where we will be talking about how to look to the left or to the right using vlookup functions so bye bye